Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fedray Zak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is January 9, 2024, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, NVIDIA explodes to new all-time record highs. But first, no major economic events scheduled for today. So we are seeing some activity in the markets. However, not when it comes to Forex. Major pairs really unchanged day to day. However, looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq both rally big as a comeback to that sell-off that we had just a couple of weeks ago. Now looking at commodities, gold remains unchanged while oil trending lower. Now looking at the stocks, it's AMD, Intel, and Apple that were the biggest gainers yesterday besides for NVIDIA. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, we see a nice explosion there as well as Bitcoin hits new highs for the year. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're looking at the Euro USD, and just to show what unchanged looks like, that's it. 109.50-ish level right now, and we haven't done anything. Okay, until it either spikes above or below the 30-day or 8-day moving average right now, I don't see a reason to trade it. If we get a crossover between the red line, okay, over the blue line, that would become interesting, especially on a daily. I mean, looking at a weekly, you can see it's really unchanged from week to week. Now, what is happening in the market? So what's happening in the markets is the U.S. markets. But because we cover almost everything just to get everything covered, okay, I'm going to jump into commodities first, gold remaining mostly unchanged. However, looking at oil, crude oil is trading within that range. And I did mention this last week and the week before that is that we may find ourselves just consolidating at this area sure enough that's what we have okay we are at the bottom of the range now the more we test this bottom and we hold the stronger it gets so right now it's at 70 79 if it does break 69 40 if it does break this 66 ish level okay between 70 to 66 ish level it continues breaking down then we'll see a breakout but until then, we're just in choppy field right now. So keep that in mind as we're looking at that. Now, checking out the U.S. markets. Let's take a look at a daily chart first. Okay, so we did get a nice push yesterday, which is a nice bounce, about 300 points. But look at this type of activity. Okay, this type of activity, if we look at a 50-minute chart, maybe even shorter. Okay, maybe even shorter than that. No, that's not going to work. All right, so let's take a look at a 50-minute chart because ostensibly anywhere between this area and onwards is aftermarket's trading. So throughout the day, we just grind it higher, which means that there is authentic buying, okay? And now that is something that is not concerning, but something that is raising my, piquing my interest because that means that we may see further buying in it on the upside now looking at the nasdaq also the same story had a nice grinding day where we just continued making higher highs now jumping to the most exciting stock nvidia just popping out to 520 which is a new high for nvidia now at this stage it could go to 600 it could go to 700 go to a thousand i don't know okay honestly speaking when these things happen the acceleration that they can happen on the upside is that much more aggravated. So just keep that in mind as this can continue going even higher than it is right now. Now looking at AMD also, big comeback for AMD, which is a competitor to NVIDIA. Believe it or not, it is a competitor. Also Intel, competitor to NVIDIA. So these guys are going higher. What's interesting is Amazon made a huge bad comeback and also did Apple. Okay, so these were the short, these were the, I mean, Apple was the softer, softest stock on the, on the board for the past few weeks. Okay, it went from 199 down to 185, but you see it's making a comeback, which is huge because it hit that 200 day moving average. And I mentioned that too. Okay, that was something I called out. That 200 day moving average is really important. We've tested it a couple of times and we seem to bounce right off of it. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, another very exciting trade hitting new highs for the year for 46.78. Now, taking a weekly look at it, we're on resistance-ish area, a multi-week time frame, which is huge. That is really important because if we break above this 47,000-ish, 48,000, we could possibly see ourselves at 50 grand. 
which is a big comeback for Bitcoin. Remember, it was 16000 just last summer. This is Fed Ray Zach. I want to wish everybody a great training day. Thank you.